Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a percent number line, being able to use this type of diagram, a percentage diagram number line in order to determine ratios, missing pieces of a ratio, and then actually using the ratio to see if there's a equivalency in another situation. So it's uh, ratios and percentages. Those are, that's our topic today. So ratios and percentages. So this is CPM course two section um, 5.2.4, okay? And it's specifically number 5-62. So it says, a lemonade recipe calls for using a ratio of two cups of lemon juice for every four cups of water. So draw and label a diagram like the one above to show the percent of lemonade that is water and the percent of lemonade, uh, the percent that is lemon juice. So I'm going to redraw our, um, our number line so it's easier to see here. So we know it's at 0% and we know it goes up to 100%, right? They give us a little bit of a, a start and they, they cut the number line to about, about there. And they tell us the very end of it is six cups of the lemonade, right? Of the total liquid, the total lemonade. So here it says blank cups of lemon juice. So what does that mean? So what, well, what we know is we've got what? Two cups of lemon juice and four cups of water, which if you add two and four, it is six. So what they're looking at is this right here is the two cups of lemon juice. And then this would be then what? If that's the two cups of lemon juice, this is the four cups of water. So you've got the two cups of lemon juice is from here to here, right? And then the two cups, the four cups of water is from there to there. So that being said, let's talk about our percentages. Well, I can cut this equally. If I've got two there, I can cut this in half and I get another two here. So from here to here is two. From here to here is also two. From there to there is two, right? So each of these sections is two. So that's three equal sections. So I can look at my uh, percentages and I could cut that by thirds. So take 100% and cut it by thirds. So 100 divided by three you know, if you needed to, you can take 3 into 100 and do the math this way. But what you end up with is 3, I just quickly do the long division. So you see this, another 3, multiply, and you get another 1. You got to bring down the 0 and add a decimal place right to the division. So the decimal goes right here. And another 0 comes down, and I keep getting 3. And then you notice it's just going to continue to repeat. You'll continue to have threes. So really what we have here is 33.3, 33.3 a repeating bar. Another way to write this and to show this is, and I want to show it as well, is if I wanted to take 100 and divide by 3, I can write it as a um, fraction. And then I can make that fraction into a mixed number. Right To do the mixed number, you would actually do the division still and get 33, and then you would look to see what was the remainder. The remainder was 1, so it's 33 and 1 third. So either way, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually write it in a fraction. So right here is 33 and 1 third percent. And then if we continue on, this would be adding another, oops, 1 third, 1 half. This would be 66 and 2 thirds percent. And then we add another one, it would get to my 100%. So there's the diagram that helps us then uh, for A. This is part A. And this is going to show those percentages. So let's, add, let's answer the question. So B, B says, what is the ratio of lemon juice to total, total liquid? The ratio from lemon juice to total liquid would be 2 over 6, right? It's 2 cups lemon juice over six cups lemonade, right? The whole 
liquid is the whole lemonade, right? Total liquid is the lemonade. So lemon juice to lemonade. So that can just be written as a fraction two to six, which actually then can be simplified to be one third, one to three, okay? And then now we look at part C, or, and also by the way, if we're looking at this as a, this is a ratio as a percent, that would be 33 and one third percent. So as a ratio, it's one to three, as a percent, it's 33 and one third. So C, C says, Angel made 10 cups of lemonade. She used three cups of lemon juice in her mixture. Did she follow the recipe? In other words, did she use the same ratio of lemon juice to total liquid? Well, what did we determine? We determined the lemon juice to total liquid was one to three. So the correct is one to three. But what did she did? So this is um, Angel. So the correct is one to three, but Angel used three to 10. So the question is, is, oops, sorry. So the correct is a one to three ratio. Angel used three to 10. So the question is, is one third equal three tenths? Are those the same? Well, one way to find out is if you look, to go from one third to something over 10, right? Or actually, I'll just even say three over something. Well, you would have to multiply top and bottom here by three over three. One third is equal to three ninths, but one third is not equal to three tenths, right? They're not equal ratios. So Angel did not use the exact correct ratio of lemon juice in, um, in her mix. So let, let's see if we answer the question said, did she use the same ratio of lemon juice? No. So I could say Angel did not use the same ratio, ratio of lemon juice to total liquid. Okay. So there we have it.